Edward Snowden said that you should sell your Cardano before the 28th of May. But why is this so? Make sure to stay tuned until the end so you'll be updated on why Edward Snowden said this and more about Cardano. About holding Cardano, we'd like to show you the good and the wrong sides of it right here in this video. In today's video, we will explore why a former CIA agent and blockchain enthusiast warns the world that holding crypto will soon be very challenging. Eventually, we will study some of the recent actions taken by governments to restrict the use of cryptos and how this will affect us, the users. So stay tuned to the end of the video to discover why Snowden believes it may be impossible to buy Cardano after the 28th of May. Over the past month, crypto prices have steadily increased. Further, the cost of Cardano has been going up for four weeks and it had a brief downward movement in mid-February, but has been rising ever since. Then on the holy week, the price of Cardano hovers around 94 cents of a dollar, making it the eighth most valuable coin by market cap. Due to the recent spike in ADA's price and the development it is currently undertaking, there is a positive buzz in the crypto community due to its current price movement. Several investors believe that Cardano is too expensive and they are selling their coins at that point. In contrast, other investors have bet on Cardano continuing to rise and buy the coin. Edward Snowden continues to believe Cardano will soon be exclusively for the wealthy despite all of this. Moreover, since Edward Snowden has worked closely with the government, he might have the knowledge we don't have. Stay tuned to find out. What makes Edward Snowden's viewpoint on Cardano so important? We all know in the crypto world that Edward Snowden is an American computer scientist and tech specialist who became famous in 2013. He worked as a consultant for the CIA as a computer intelligence analyst. In his time there, some thought that he had become disillusioned with his work, specifically with the NSA's surveillance activities. Using the security contract work he did for the NSA, he leaked government documents and then stole them from the NSA. And Snowden stated that he leaked the documents out of good conscience. Since the documents contain highly classified information about NSA activities, the leak caused him serious problems. The most significant part of the guide is its information regarding U.S. government information collection and how to deal with it. Afterward, he resigned from his position and then traveled to Hong Kong. He revealed that the NSA conducted several surveillance programs in conjunction with the governments of Europe and the telecommunications companies. As a result of his government's accusation of espionage, he fled to Russia, where he was granted asylum. Further, media outlets such as The Guardian, New York Times, etc. reported the news as soon as it broke, and this sparked international controversy for the U.S. and many of its allies. Some people saw Snowden as a hero after the leak, but it also made him an enemy of the U.S. government. Aside from this, recently Snowden has been in the news because he has something to say about the crypto industry. Globally, governments are trying to influence the issue in any way they can. Meanwhile, people who know about Snowden know that they should pay attention once he says something about government behavior. The other interesting thing about Snowden you might not know is that he is an enthusiast of crypto technology and a tech critic, and some of his recent critiques have focused on crypto technology. His outlook on the industry is pretty bullish, and he has his eyes on tokens like Cardano. He has stated that he loves Cardano, as do many other people. One of his claims is that Snowden relates to the fact that cryptos aren't as secure as we would like to think. Furthermore, Snowden claims he has seen credible reports that the NSA is developing a program that will allow it to track crypto users and monitor them. Moreover, he documents a report that reveals the government is developing software that will enable it to trace and identify users who buy or sell crypto. The government is developing two robust computer programs, OakStar and Monkey Rocket, both working to give the government greater control over cryptographic operations. Cardano's user base continues to grow steadily, and if that is the case, the Cardano community should keep an eye on it. Cardano seems excellent. However, Snowden believes there are other threats, such as the government's desire to be in charge of both people's crypto and transaction history. Even though the U.S. government may envision crypto as a threat to their currency, crypto is decentralized, meaning transactions aren't entirely required to be reported to the government. It is, however, legally required that you report all transactions to the government. 
Snowden says, however, that this can pose a problem for people who possess cryptos. Since the government is not pleased with this idea, it is likely to do something drastic to hinder crypto from becoming more powerful than the dollar. However, judging by many recent legal activities like the XRP case, it does not seem like this will be the case as the government is actively working with the crypto community to establish regulatory frameworks to capture and tax crypto transactions. As Edward Snowden stated, the CBDC or Central Bank Digital Currency is also something to watch out for. Since 2013, governments have been trying to catch up with cryptocurrencies, and it seems they are getting closer every day. Using the CBDC as the government's virtual currency will force the government to be involved with every transaction, defeating the purpose of cryptocurrencies altogether why Snowden calls it a crypto-fascist currency. A perversion of cryptocurrency, the CBDC, defines its principles and protocols in its own words. This crypto-fascist currency is designed to keep the state at the center of each transaction, denigrating you of the right to own your money. In addition, Snowden explains that CBDC is counter to the basic idea of crypto, which is decentralization. It shouldn't be surprising that there is a battle to control latency. Would everyone be able to keep their transactions private? It. it can lead to more crime and illegal purchases, but does the government really need to know everything, or even do they? As a result, the government constantly makes the U.S. dollar price fall every day due to inflation. But a third party is involved, the government which watches every transaction. The crypto world, especially Cardano, is still growing strongly despite all of this. That is why many people join the Cardano network every day, and Cardano has worked hard to make sure that it meets the regulatory framework demands of the government. Hence far, this has proved successful. Since Cardano is one of the most secure blockchain networks, more dApps are being built on top of this network. Moreover, the innovative contract technology behind Cardano is also one of the best in the whole crypto industry. With this, it's important to remember that the recent movement in the ADA token is a sign of inflation and the, all the other things going around on the world. Then, deflationary tokens, coins with a limited supply, are in demand by investors looking for an excellent place to store their money. Oh yes, and guess what? Cardano is one of these tokens, but not yet, as it does not yet have its entire supply of 45 billion ADA, as it is currently sitting at 30 billion ADA. Staking ADA can, however, be done in the meantime so that people can gain even more. As the network attracts more and more users, teams will strive to keep making it better and better. Investors are closely monitoring this growth, but Edward Snowden may have been right about this growth. In the meantime, the Cardano price is poised to hit a massive milestone after the arrival of Tether and USDC on its blockchain, as reported last April 15th. Then several stable coins arrived on the Cardano blockchain due to the Wing Riders DEX. Founder of the Cardano blockchain platform, Charles Hoskinson, announced their arrival details. As a result, Cardano is poised for a surge in price. The Cardano ecosystem has always been home to stable coins, however, the introduction of USD Tether and USD Coin could drive more on-chain activity. And a tweet posted by Charles Hoskinson, co-founder of Ethereum and Cardano, announced the upcoming launch of their projects. Moreover, Wing Riders, a decentralized exchange on the Cardano mainnet, has partnered with the Milko Mita Foundation, a Layer 2 protocol. As a haven, USDT and USDC would protect users' assets from the volatility of the crypto market. With the arrival of USD Tether and USD Coin on the Cardano network, the number of investors could increase. Taking advantage of Milko Mita's sidechain, Wing Riders has built two stable coins on Cardano. Further, users who bring their USDT and USDC to Cardano could stimulate on-chain activity in the altcoin as they get their USDT and USDC to the Cardano ecosystem. Additionally, analysts have analyzed the Cardano price trend and noted that ADA had reached its $1.26 target. Cardano's price dropped 26% recently, which analysts consider a healthy retracement and believe ADA has much upside potential. According to an analyst, the Cardano price chart shows an inverse head and shoulders pattern, which would point to ADA's decline reversing. Meanwhile, Cardano's price is expected to rise 36%, according to FX Street analysts. So do you think you should sell your ADA tokens before the 28th of May? I think it's good to hold your Cardano tokens with this price analysis, as you'll soon earn a lot of money. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Look in the comments section for what to do. Make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.